good. Really uh, enjoyed it out there in that last race, just watching the guys in front and trying to work out why I wasn't <laughs> there with them. <laughs> Can you tell us a bit about this fabulous uh, 1997 Jägermeister car? Uh, well, it was the last BMW that was made by, well, uh, laid out by McLaren and built by BMW in the Super Touring era and it went to a team called Eisert in Germany and was raced by Prince uh, von Bayern or Pauli von Bayern and uh, it was also the last um, car that the Jagermeister sponsorship went with. And Jagermeister not into motor racing anymore now because it's not a good look for them but um, uh, we took it to um, Germany to Nürburgring to the, the uh, Grand Prix track and uh, the German fans were just all over the car. Quite, quite uh, impressed by it. sent to New Zealand and ran in the Benson and Hedges 500 in 1983. It was run by uh, Neville Crichton and Wayne Wilkinson and they won the Benson and Hedges 500 in 83. Then it was sold on and it got second in 84 and then in 85 it got turned into a Group A car and raced uh, the Wellington Street Race and Pukekohe um, through those rounds that they had in the day um, and then the guy that owned it raced at different events and then parked it in the container for 25 years and then it came up for sale on Trade Me and I was fortunate enough to buy it. So we ran it last season and we've um, got a baseline to start from there, we've pulled it right to pieces and rebuilt the whole thing, panel and paint. The signage you see it in now is as it raced in the day and won the uh, Benson Edges 500. Look, fantastic, fantastic. We uh, managed to get a good drive off that start straight, um, and then yeah, get to the front, and then um, yeah, quietly, quietly get round some of those corners, and then mingle a bit with the, you know, Michael and, and Steve. So yeah, no, fantastic racing. Um, really good, you know, really good guys to drive and mingle with because everyone gives each other room, and Bruce Miles was there as well. So yeah, I really hope we put on a really good, you know, show for the crowd. Or, it's a great race. Could you tell us a bit about your car and what the process was for the build? Yeah, so it was a bit of a bit of a job that car. Um, it was a job in respect that we didn't we needed to know lots of information about the original cars, um, and, and and of course Gibson Motorsport were fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Um, Fred and Alan talking to those two about you know how everything works for the car. You know, we, obviously we've still got some things to improve on the car as well, um, as far as bars and things like that go, but um, actually, you know, going to Australia, talking to the boys, and, and building this car, um, Alan Heafy said to me, it's Stuart's, they look like a GDR, but they're not, and he was exactly right. They're a very hard car to build, hard to keep oil, oil and water in. <laughs> Um, you know, and, and keep it there, you know, throughout the duration of a race. But, um, you know, fingers crossed we've got it sorted now. And, um, and it seems to be competitive too. It, it wants, to, wants to go, just sort out a few wee understeering issues with it. But other than that, no, the whole package seems to gel nicely. It, it's a yeah, fantastic car. I can see why they were so, you know, good in the day. Um, obviously a lot better than my car, the original ones. But, yeah, no, they're a fantastic car. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yes, it was the um, Harvey car that uh, he won the championship with, mainly because he did the whole series with it, except for the last round, in which he swapped cars with uh, Steve Soper, because um, the car was badly damaged in practice when Harvey was practicing for the final round. So they gave Harvey the Soper car, because it was a straighter car to have a chance of winning the championship. And Soper then um, drove this one the final round. And then they had a, uh, a coming together with Cleland in the end. And it's the most probably talked about British touring car uh, series ever since. For the, the, for who was to blame about taking out each car? But um, Cleland and Soper still don't talk about it to this day. As I caught up with both of them in 2016 when we were over there. So it was uh, certainly quite interesting. Uh, event, that's for sure. So it still bubbles away in the background. So Steve had a drive of the car, but uh, Tim Harvey wouldn't. And um, that's how it is. <laughs> It was a 1998 Peugeot 406, it was one of two that Peugeot raced and this one was raced by Paul Radisson from New Zealand and uh, it wasn't a particularly successful car, his opinion was it was underpowered and that the team lacked a bit of organisation. Um, but he said it was a nicely built car and I've found it in the short time that I have been running it, it is a, a fantastic car but um, I have had a lot of issues with it which hopefully now I'm overcoming. So you've managed to iron out those issues now? Uh, I think so, I won't commit to it just yet but it seems like it is. Yeah. First, first scope race and um, it was fantastic. It's a great, the circuit here suits these cars really well. So we were able to have a good scrap with, um, with Stu and, and Michael here. Uh, and we come out unscathed, which was good. <laughs> and are you enjoying the uh, Volvo S40? Yeah, the, the Volvo, you know, they, they were the, almost the final iteration of that, that super touring era. And they, uh, they just got better and better and better. And I, I, it's interesting because I was a bit of part of the Nissan thing back in the day and, ha and have driven the Nissan recently last year and it's, it's, it's incredible to see the, see the differences between the two cars and where their strengths and weaknesses are and while they're, while they're similar they're very different. Yeah, so Greg, Greg Murphy, uh, how was your first race of uh, the historic touring car series at Scope Classic? Incredibly enjoyable the first race, again, uh, same as last year, every, every race we had last year here was, was a ball of laughs and uh, very entertaining and, and uh, i very lucky to get to be able to thrash this little uh, go-kart around the racetrack and, and uh, have got a smile on my face the whole time, so I was um, in a bit of a battle late in the race there with uh, Mr. Miles down there and uh, in his uh, beautiful um, M3 and uh, it was, uh, yeah, laugh a minute, absolute laugh a minute. fantastic you know it's such a great event and so many cars to look at and from our point of view I'm driving a, a, a really cool old car that I raced in the 80s so what could be better. So Trevor you've been racing a very long time and raced a lot of cars what would be your, your favourite car and your favourite event that you've raced at in your career? Yeah I, I think Bathurst and that was a little M3 BMW and we got fourth there and that's pretty heroic for you know for years you watch these guys running at Bathurst, when you can do it yourself it's great. And probably running the Starlet, you know, the first car that I built with the V8 and that, that, that's been tremendous for me really. But that's always fun. <laughs> it's always enjoyable. <laughs> Actually, it's 
great. Um, I'll be honest, I've many times had a look around and seen the fantastic cars um, and obviously made the jump, bought the car. Um, it's all about the cars, the people are fantastic. The previous owner has given me a huge amount of support um, and we're just loving it. Um, getting better every lap, actually. That's great. And would you, what would you say to people who are interested in joining the group? Um, I, th I think it's a great opportunity. Um, obviously, take a look around, talk to some of the other boys. Um, in, in the pit area around here, there's always cars packed away, people have. Um, and there's different degrees of price or quality of car, and it's always a starting point, like me. Yeah, well, um, Bruce Miles and I have had it since uh, 1998. Uh, it was an ex-Australian touring car car. Uh, we got it and we did um, oh, 98 Bathurst, 99 Bathurst and a 24-hour race at Bathurst in it. Um, finished one of them, uh, the other two we didn't. <laughs> Big good thing, but it was a great experience. Uh, we then endurance raced it uh, throughout New Zealand. We were champions for a few years until the Porsches came along. Um, been an excellent car, fantastic car to drive. It's part of the family and we, uh, we th I thoroughly enjoyed it.